everyone, Maddie Smith here, character on the coming audio fiction series Keep Right, and today, your podcast host. Let's go be awesome. Someone asked me recently, what do you do if you can't make a living off being weird on the internet? And I was like, college? We're good job? We're good job interviews? Terrifying. I mean, just look at some of the questions they ask. Are you honest? Like, I'm gonna say no. What are your greatest weaknesses? How many corn shucks can fit in the state of Kentucky? What would you do if you were a pen and someone stuck you in a tumble dryer? What? If I ever have to go through that process, I have a checklist of procedure to follow. Freak out, eat some chocolate, freak out again, and then call cousin Alyssa. Yeah, she looks a lot like me. Alyssa has been on lots of job interviews and has lots of great tips. I'll be giving you some of them today. In fact, she recently told me about her latest interview at the Bailey and Hendrickson Corporation. You won't believe how that went. Tell me, how did you hear about this job? Oh, one day, I was sitting on an apartment, and this homeless guy comes up to me. And we started looking through the morning ads together, and I saw your guys there and thought, Hey, I look pretty qualified for this job. Yeah, there's almost no requirements. And this homeless guy, Bob, says, You should go for it. Hope you can get it this time. He's such an encourager, you know. So, I'm here. Oh, I see. Well, let's discuss your resume. Font. It's nice. It's got a good piece of paper underneath it. It's fancier than what I usually use at home, but that was Bob's idea. He found some trash can in the park. Uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, just a moment. Something wrong? Uh, oh, nothing. Nothing at mm -hmm. all. Um... Well, um, tell me about yourself. Well, about 22 years ago, there's this guy named Hank, met this girl named Miley, and... Tip 1. In preparation for an interview, get ready an organized, detailed account of your life story, and be ready to tell them about your hobbies, interests, etc. So when they say, tell me about yourself, answer, just answer their question. I mean, it's what they want to know, right? And after smelling coffee in my shirt, I made an emergency run through the car wash and rolled down the windows just to be sure it all came out. Hey. Huh? Mm. Uh. Mm. <clears throat> here. Mm. It's all right. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> I was surprised when Alyssa told me interviewers like to hear people's life stories at job interviews, but it is what it is. Anyway, Alyssa said after those kinds of questions, they move on to other stuff. So, what interests you about this job? Money. Just be honest in an interview. That's what Alyssa says. Don't hide anything. Don't phrase things politically. Don't give any reason that's not the reason. I mean, they say that's what they want, so they won't hold it against you, right? Are you alright? Take notes here, people! Relate to me one of your strengths. Making money. One of your weaknesses? Keeping it. Why did you leave your previous place of employment? The money. What's most important to you in a new position? The money. What motivates you to work every day? The, the money. money. And Bob. Hey, paying the bills, supporting yourself, supporting the family, that's all noble, right? So wanting a job for the money can be a good thing. I'm sure an interviewer will see it that way. I don't want to wind up in the poorhouse or anything. I mean, I'm smart that way. I mean, how can I not be? I graduated high school and everything. Well, almost, but what's with all this money talk? We're here to talk about my personal life, right? Um... Uh, what are some of the mistakes you've made in the past? Well, that's kind of personal, don't you think? Let's move on. What's your greatest failure in life? Lying about greatest failure in life questions. Alyssa tells me not to worry about the really weird questions. She says they ask them, but they don't expect a real answer because no one answers them straightforwardly anyway, which I think is true, but... I asked if maybe they want you to come up with a failure of some kind anyway, but she says, never show weakness. What can you offer us that somebody else can't? Me! Oh yeah, Alyssa says not to worry about the kind of answer the interviewer is going for. I mean, if you wanted something specific, you'd say that, right? What would you do in the first 90 days of this position? Find out where the refrigerator is. No sweat, she says. Next, she says they really do ask questions about... How many of such and such thingies fit in such and such a bigger thingy? But for that case, she's got wowing the interviewer all figured out. One million two thousand and forty-four and a half. 
My brother Alex suggested the interview was interested in your thought process because they can't possibly actually care about how many corn shucks can fit in the state of Kentucky. He suggests that you ask them questions like, are the shucks being stored in buildings or on the ground? Are they green or dry? Etc. And try to come up with a rough estimate. But Alyssa says they asked an exact question, so they must want an exact answer. She's calculated all sorts of things in prep for interviews, and she's come up with answers to all kinds of mind benders. She knows how many ball bearings fit in a 747, how many cell phones are in Chicago, and she knows how to weigh an elephant without using a scale. It, don't ask me how she figured that out. You don't want to know. How do you handle confrontation? I hit it square in the nose, and it never comes back. It works every single time. You should try it. Hey, um, what makes you uncomfortable? Wet socks. I envy Alyssa. And weird people. She always knows how to handle herself in an interview. Poison Ivy. Uh, th that's fine, Alyssa. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's just skip ahead to the next question, okay. shall we? Um, here, um, sell me the stick. Oh, well, that's boring. Come on, Mr. Hotshot Sport. Let's have some fun. Take notes here, people. Well, thanks for um, stopping by. Um, it's It's been very interesting. But They're the ring! <laughs> Once bronze, twice silver, three times gold. Bet nine bucks that I can score, but you're too old. Booyah! Silver! Gold! Your shot. Gotta go, guys. Quizadilly, Alyssa's coming to town tonight. The family's going to have dinner with her. She sold me the one-year marker of her successful career as the top sales director at the Dash of Sporting Goods Company. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget to thumb me up one. See you next time! I don't know, Director. What do you think about that? I think if she ever has to go on an interview, she'll be in serious trouble. Okay. Add the word not to the title, alright? How not to interview. That way, we give it a sarcastic spin, make it look intentional, we don't ruin anybody's lives, we're still the good guys, right? Right. Right, okay, we'll call it good. Got it.